Hello there. Now that we have a webpack setup, I want to add some SAS support. Right now I am using normal CSS files as you can see here. This is the only CSS file that I'm using. It's not it's not doing anything fancy, it's just adding so, some padding around the body to play along nicely with Bootstrap. And the way I am including this CSS file is here on my layout. I am simply adding a link tag and I am referring this site CSS file here. So I want to change this. I don't want to use it through here. I want to use it through Webpack. And the other thing is that I want SAS files instead of CSS files. So I will quickly convert this simply by changing the extension. And just so that you can see that I am actually using some SAS functionality, I will declare a variable here. I have to assign the body or horizontal padding and I'm going to assign it to 15px and I am going to use it here. And now I need to tell Webpack that I want to use my SAS files. In order to do that I will come back to the documentation and I will search for SAS. And here I will go to SAS loader and here it will tell me how to use the loaders in order to be able to use SAS files. So I will copy this install command. I will come back to my Visual Studio Code terminal. I will delete Webpack since I have already installed that and I will hit enter and wait for this to finish. Now that this is done, I will continue following the guide and I will find that I actually need to install another loaders. And these loaders are actually for CSS, but they are some sort of prerequisite in order to use SAS. So I will install these two. Now that those has finished, I am going to continue looking at the docs. And you will see that it's telling me to add this into my webpack.config. So I will take this module structure and I will copy to my own webpack config. I will just uh, add it here and just apply some formatting. And hopefully this should work. Now I actually need to add my SAS file into my bundle, so I will do that coming to my entry point, which right now is home.js file, and I will delete this full function since it's not doing anything, and I will import my SAS file. Going to, and I actually realize I still have this directory called CSS, so I will rename that to be SAS. And now I will add the import here to my site SAS. CSS. Okay. Now let's test the application. I am going to run it first without running Webpack just to make sure it's going to work as I expect. And right now you can see that my news containers have gone up through the navbar. This is because I have lost my padding that was in my CSS file because I removed it from the layout. And right now my SAS is not being loaded because I haven't run Webpack. And remember that I uh, I could run in Webpack watching, but right now it's not running. So let's run that and see what happened. So here on my terminal, I will switch to my terminal where I am running my npm installs and I will run npm run watch. And this will execute webpad build and hopefully I should be able to see my SAS now being loaded on my page. And you can see that I have recovered my paddings. So just that like that, I am already, I am now loading SAS files into my web uh, into my web page through Webpack. Very simple and now I can use the full power of SAS files. On my next video I will show you how to use how to, how to add third party libraries and the, what we are going to be adding is this bootstrap because right now I am using the CDN but I want to change that to handle this dependency through my package JSON and adding that through Webpack. 
I hope you will join me on my next video as we learn how to add third party libraries.